in this question an electric dipole is kept of p1 first to the left and the same dipole is transferred to the right of a negatively charged infinite plane sheet this is a sheet infinite sheet with a negative charges having uniform surface charge density so p1 is the first position of the dipole on the left side p2 is the position of same dipole when it's shifted from left to right both are directed from left to right the arrow indicated the direction of dipole moment oh the arrow show the directions of electric dipole moment in two cases uh, the question is given not given here i'll type at the end the question is to identify whether p1 and p2 are in stable or unstable equilibrium we have to find out whether p1 and p2 are in stable or unstable equilibrium uh, for a system to be in equilibrium before checking stable and unstable the system has to be in equilibrium out of that we can go to which is stable and unstable for a system to be in equilibrium the net force and net torque on the system has to be zero so for this dipole to be in equilibrium the net force on p1 and the net torque on p1 even force and torque on p p2 has to be zero so that's the first condition for a system to be in equilibrium net force and net torque has to be zero uh, for a dipole we have two equal opposite charges minus q plus q the arrow mark is from minus to plus so this is minus this is plus here left is minus right is plus the arrow mark indicate direction from minus to plus i think you know that already now if we check the sheet the sheet produces uniform electric field means the strength of the field remains same from the sheet till infinity uh, since a negatively charged sheet the electric field is towards the sheet if you leave a positive test charge that will be attracted towards a negative charge if you leave a positive test charge here it will be attracted to a negative charge sheet so on the left side the electric field is directed towards right and is same everywhere independent of the distance uh, that's a point we learn in the derivation of gauss law the electric field formula sigma by 2 epsilon 0 which is independent of distance so right side left side both the field is uniform but the directions are different right side is towards left and left side is towards right since the field is uniform both charges of the dipole minus q and plus q experience equal force but in opposite direction if plus q experience force in one direction minus q experience force in opposite direction so for a uniform electric field the net force will be zero for both p1 and p2 now torque the torque formula is p sin theta for the first dipole p1 is towards the right the electric field also towards right so theta is the angle between p and d so p and d are parallel theta is zero if theta is zero sin zero is zero so the torque on p1 is also zero if you take p2 the p2 is directed towards right arrow mark the electric field is towards left so the angle is 180 degree even sin 180 is zero so the torque on p2 also zero so net force is zero and no torque also zero for both the dipoles that means you are confirming both the dipoles are in equilibrium so this is the negative charge density so the electric field is towards right towards the sheet and electric field is towards left on the right so these are the directions of electric field so theta is 180 for the right side and theta is 0 for the left side so the net force and net torque is 0 p1 and p2 are in equilibrium 
now you have to check whether they are stable or unstable equilibrium for stable equilibrium the dipole moment p and the electric field supposed to be parallel to each other so that the minimum potential energy so here p and e are parallel p1 case so p1 is in stable equilibrium but if you check p2 p2 is directed towards right e is towards left since p and e are anti parallel as a condition for unstable equilibrium so p2 and e are anti parallel p2 is in unstable equilibrium so the conclusion is p1 is in stable equilibrium p2 is in unstable equilibrium now if the same situation with the two dipoles p1 and p2 are placed on left and right of an infinite wire instead of infinite sheet it's an infinite sheet it is placed infinite line charge having uniform linear charge density so the basic difference between a line charge and a sheet the sheet produces uniform electric field but for a line charge if you check the formula for electric field it was lambda by 2 pi epsilon 0 into r that means when r increases electric field decreases that means a line charge do not produce uniform electric field the field is stronger near the wire it decreases as you go left and right since the field is different the negative charge experiences stronger force because it's close to the wire the positive charge experience weak force because it's far away from the wire it's for p2 for p1 the negative charge experience uh, less force as it is far away and the positive charge experience strong force that means the net force won't be zero so both p1 and p2 do not experience a uh, net force as zero there is a non zero force the basic condition for equilibrium is net force and net torque has to be zero here net force itself is not zero then you don't want to check for net torque out of the two conditions if any one is violated then it's automatically not in equilibrium so since p1 and p2 experience non zero net force both p1 and p2 are in uh, not in equilibrium so see the basic conditions for equilibrium net force zero net torque zero and see the condition for stable and unstable equilibrium so before that you check whether the field produced by the system is uniform or non uniform in uniform field always the net force will be zero nothing to think but torque here check the angle in the second case even torque is zero but force is not zero both condition to be satisfied for a uh, system to be in equilibrium Uh, the question remains same here. The question is to check whether the systems are in stable or unstable equilibrium. 